Dear students, welcome to my second class on waves. Now, we have come across definition for a wave, then classification of waves. We have seen different types of waves, transverse waves, longitudinal waves, one-dimensional waves, three-dimensional waves, mechanical and non-mechanical waves. Any wave can be represented mathematically using a function. A function which has two variables, that is, that function is a function of position as well as time. Such a function is known as wave function. A mathematical function of position and time coordinates which can represent a wave is known as wave function. Wave, can, wave function can be represented using the symbol psi. psi the function is a function of position x as well as time t. Usually, this wave function psi represents the physical displacement of the particle of the medium when the wave is propagating. But it need not be the physical displacement always. As in the case of electromagnetic waves, this wave function represents the amplitude of electric field and magnetic field. And also, in the case of matter waves and quantum mechanics, this wave function psi represents the quantum mechanical probability amplitude. Usually, in other cases, this wave function represents the physical displacement of the particle of the medium when a wave is propagating through that medium. Now, we have to represent a wave using a mathematical function. If you consider a one-dimensional wave, a bar wave passing through a one-dimensional medium, then if it is moving along the positive x direction or along the negative x direction, that such a wave can be represented using a function psi of x t is equal to f of x minus v t which is which represents a wave traveling along the positive x direction and also use or using a function f of x plus v t if the wave is traveling along negative x axis or in general we can use a general equation of wave function as f of x plus or minus vt. This also represents a general wave traveling along positive or negative x direction. Now we are going to derive a one dimensional wave equation for such a wave. The derivation of one dimensional wave equation or a differential equation. We need a differential equation to represent this wave differential equation to represent the one dimensional wave is needed. You know that the function f, consider the function f is equal to, uh, sorry, this wave function psi is equal to, wave function psi is equal to f of x minus v t. Here we are considering a wave which is traveling along the positive x axis. It can be represented using psi equal to f of x minus vt or psi of xt is equal to f of x minus vt. Now, if you take the differential of, that means this wave function psi has two variables. It depends on two variables. One is x and the other one is t. The psi is a, way, is a function of position x as well as time t. That means if you, if you want to take the derivative of psi with respect to x, you have to consider t as a constant. Now, keeping t as a constant, you can take the derivative of psi with respect to x. Then that derivative is known as partial derivative. That is, here we are going to take the first derivative of psi with respect to x by keeping t as a constant. That is, dou psi by dou x is equal to f of x minus vt. The first derivative can represent as f dash of x minus vt dou psi by dou t, we are using this symbol as dou by dou x because we are taking the partial derivative. That happens when a function has more than one variable or a function if it depends on more than one coordinate, then you can take partial derivative with respect to one coordinate by considering all other coordinates as constants. Here we are taking derivative with respect to x by keeping t as a constant. You can take the second derivative also like this dou square psi by dou x square is equal to f of double dash of x minus vt which is the second derivative of function f. f double dash represents second derivative of function f. 
Now you can take the partial derivative of psi with respect to t, then what will be t? t will be, x will be a constant at that time and t will be the variable. Here you can take it as equal to f dash of x minus v t, but note that here we have a minus v multiplied into t. So you have to multiply this with the, that minus v. And again taking the second partial derivative dou square psi by dou t square that will be equal to minus v will be multiplied twice. Minus v square into f double dash second derivative of function f with respect to t. f double dash of x minus v t. So this is equal to v square f double dash of x minus v t. So <coughs> f, here, f double dash of x minus vt is dou square psi by dou x square. From this equation, you can mark it as equation number 1. So substituting equation 1 into this equation 2. What will happen? Dou left hand side is dou square psi by dou t square. Then we have a v square here. Then f double dash of x minus vt is same as dou square psi by dou x square. Dou square psi by dou x square or you can rearrange and write it like this dou square psi by dou x square is equal to 1 by v square dou square psi by dou t square this represents the second order differential equation for a one dimensional wave this represents the second order differential equation for a one dimensional wave now you can write the solution of this equation as psi of xt is equal to, this will be having, this is the second order differential equation psi, so the solution should be for psi, psi of xt is equal to, you can take it as equal to a sin of k into x minus vt or a cos k into x minus k into, sorry, a cos k into x minus vt or we can take it this as equal to a e raised to i k x minus vt k into x minus vt you can take like that so this represents the function of this represents the solution for this second order differential equation which is a differential equation for a one dimensional way now from this equation we can simply write differential equation for a three dimensional way also a one dimensional wave is one which is traveling along a positive x direction or along a, or along a one dimensional medium and if the wave is traveling along a three dimensional medium then the wave becomes three dimensional. So from this one dimensional wave equation we can directly write the three dimensional wave equation that is for one dimension we are considering only a single coordinate x for three dimension how many coordinates you have to consider? You have to consider three coordinates. Here you are taking x. Now in three dimension you can take x, y and z coordinates. Three coordinates can be considered. So the equation becomes on the left hand side you have to add two more terms with respect to y and with respect to z. So the three dimensional wave equation becomes dou square psi by dou x square plus dou square psi by dou y square plus dou square psi by dou z square is equal to right hand side remains the same 1 by v square dou square psi by dou t square. This represents the three dimensional wave equation. This represents the three dimensional wave equation. So the three dimensional wave equation this dou square by dou s square plus dou square by dou s y square plus dou square by dou z square can also be represented as del square or this becomes del square psi is equal to 1 by v square dou square psi by dou t square. This also represents the three dimensional wave equation. So what will be the possible solution for this three dimensional wave equation? The possible solution for a three dimensional wave equation can be psi of here it is x y z t is equal to a e raised to i k x into x plus k y y plus 
k is at z minus of omega t. This represents the solution for a three dimensional wave equation. Oh, this is equal to a a raised to i k dot x minus k dot r minus omega t k dot r minus omega t here k is the propagation constant it is a vector which can be represented as wave vector and r is the position vector r this is the usual position vector r i x plus j y plus k is a k dot r minus omega t represents represents a three dimensional wave represents a solution for a three dimensional wave in this way you can write the one dimensional solution for one dimensional wave also as psi is equal to psi of x t is equal to a e raised to i k dot x minus omega t this also represents this also represents psi of x t that is the solution this can also represent the solution for a one dimensional wave so solution for a one dimensional wave is this one and the solution for three dimensional wave is this one thank you